There's a saying that each day we fall further away from the glory of God. And rightly so. Degeneracy has to be the most infectious disease ever seen on the face of this earth. Think back just 10 years from now. The way half of women dress these days used to be how hookers used to dress up. Not only that, but what used to be a mental illness back in the day has now been turned into movements and ideologies that are worshipped and adored. But here's the dark reality. No one is allowed to speak up. That's right. Those who speak up against this degeneracy are so-called cancelled, deplatformed, never to be heard of again. This is all done in the name of free speech and justice. Do you not see the irony in this, my young brother? For all our brothers that are fighting hard to live a life of high value, the fight just became harder. And it will only become harder with each day as our world becomes more degenerate. If you don't want to find yourself wasting your life away, then watch this video until the end. Because you are about to learn the five degenerate ideas that have been injected into the matrix to brainwash you and make you weak. Degenerate idea number one, putting celebrities on a pedestal. This is one of the biggest degeneracies that is being normalized around you. There are women who are die-hard fans of their so-called celebrity crush. These women wouldn't mind breaking up their marriage to get hit by their celebrity crush backstage. Same goes for men. It saddens me to see men who once used to be occupied by the thought of progress, purpose, mission, sacrifice, and glory, now putting random strangers on a pedestal who wouldn't even give a second thought to them. Is that not another form of being a cuck? I have said it before, and I will say it again. The only one a man should ever place on a pedestal is God. Try putting anything else on that pedestal, and you will end up with a broken heart, or worse, a corrupted soul. Always remember, young brother, your ears and eyes are the biggest gateways to your mind. Whatever you allow to pass through them will eventually become your norm. I see so many men listening to degenerate songs from these so-called artists they follow. If you allow yourself to be fed by these lyrics over and over, then you are on a fast track to losing all your self-improvement progress. In fact, carefully go through the lyrics of the past 10 songs you have listened to. Most likely, they promote rage, lust, and filth. Aren't these the very things you are trying to overcome, young brother? Just look at the lyrics of the WAP song by Cardi B that came out. Yeah, imagine trying to live a good life of self-improvement while being fed the degeneracy of that song. So navigate your path very carefully, brother. Not just songs, but anything for that matter. Anything that will deviate you from the path of self-improvement and purity needs to be sacrificed. It could be movies, Netflix, people, or ideologies. Degenerate idea number two. Sleeping with tons of women is good. I get it. Most of the men seeing this will likely click off the video right now, but that's because that's all they have been fed their whole life. Their minds are conditioned to chase lust. This idea is not only pushed from modern society as a whole, but also from the red pill as well. Yes, that's right. Part of the reason why so many men these days focus solely into getting as many women as they can is because the red pill community told them it's the best way to live. But remember this, young brother. If you spend your time and energy into finding low-quality, promiscuous women, 
you'll never actually be able to escape that cycle. Not only will your urges encourage more and more young women to take the path of degeneracy due to higher demand, but you'll also corrupt your own soul. If you keep on the habit of sleeping around for long enough, you'll end up unable to connect with a woman who's truly worth having. Lucky for you, that won't be a problem because the version of you who's corrupted won't ever be able to attract a high-value woman who's truly worth having. And you'll be stuck going from low-quality woman to another like a flea. As controversial as this may sound to some of you, the solution is simple. Stop yourself from making love to women who are unworthy of marriage and use the energy to develop yourself. Look at the life of any great man who you can look up to. Can you imagine that this man would be so driven by his lust that he just wants to get inside the pants of every other woman he comes across? I think you know the answer to that. Degenerate idea number three, being emotional is healthy. Many of you know why this is on the list. For the others who disagree and think that this is so-called toxic masculinity, I advise you to continue watching. This idea, perpetrated by modern feminism, is the new black plague. All of them think that we need to be emotional to prevent ourselves from living a miserable life. But doing this achieves the exact opposite result. Think about a nagging child who's always throwing a tantrum. Is that child likable in any shape or form when he decides to let his emotions go loose? Most definitely not. In fact, that's the very theme of most birth control ads you will see. Now, listen carefully, brother. By not being emotional, I don't mean that you should try to hide or suppress your emotions. Simply keep them in check. Every time you let your emotions control you, you're actually giving a small portion of your freedom to your surroundings. Once enough of your freedom has been devoured by it, your life will become a living hell on earth. Think about a ship. It's made to float on water, but if that water comes inside it, it's game over. The same applies to emotions. Life is inherently tough, and you are the ship that is naturally blessed with the ability to float above these challenges of life. As long as you stick to your original course and continue to navigate through, you'll be fine. But the moment you decide to let those challenges affect you and onboard your life like water, then it's game over for you. Start by incorporating stoicism into your day-to-day -day life. Practice it and learn how to be in charge of your emotions and reactions. Being able to hold your frame will serve you a great deal of benefit with women, with business, and with gaining the respect of other men. Degenerate idea number four, buying expensive things is cool. Despite the fact that most people will tell you that money can't buy happiness, nearly all of them will still seek wealth in order to improve their life. Of course, money is important when it comes to being free in this world, but like anything in life, there are proper and improper uses of it. It saddens me to say this, but no one really owns anything these days. Everything from their cars, to their clothes, to the sofas, all have been financed. Most men these days will finance the most expensive car just for the sake of their reputation, putting themselves in debt as a result. The reason why this happens so much is due to the relentless need to chase social validation that has been forced into our minds. We believe that we must increase our status in order to show others that we are better than them. Of course, I'm not saying that you should just accept the level of status you are giving, but the way you level up should be different than just putting on a fake image of yourself. That only makes you feel more stuck and burdened in life. As simple as it may sound, 
If you don't want to find yourself drowned in parasitic debt, then avoid wasting money on things you don't need. This goes for the food you eat, the house you live in, and the bed you sleep in. Learn the values of minimism and only accept to buy things that you truly need, especially in your early days. Learn the difference between good debt and bad debt. You will soon come to realize the difference between fake and real types of success. And finally, degenerate idea number five. Diet doesn't matter. This idea has to be the most idiotic of the bunch. While other ideas have some sort of a thought through base to them, despite being wrong, this idea is completely nonsensical through and through. It's based upon the fact that food is food and that as long as you don't eat too much, you'll be fine and healthy. The truth is that every single type of food that exists will have different effects on your body. Eat too much pasta or rice and it's likely you'll feel bloated and lack motivation. Eat too much fatty foods and you'll destroy your gut health. At the same time, if you eat a lot of food that is full of the right nutrients you need, your body will feel alive again. Food is truly a fuel for your body, mind, and soul. Eat the wrong things like any processed food and you'll feel the consequences. But here's the harsh truth. Almost everything you are surrounded by these days is not real food. Most things you find in the supermarket or on the shelves have been engineered or modified. What I consider real food is anything without a food label. Foods that are freshly produced straight out of nature. To see the next best way to level up as a man, check this video here.